Welcome guys to the two minute devotion. And today this devotion is about devotion itself. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for all that you have revealed to us today. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Ladies, don't you hate when you go out on a date with someone that said, I want to spend some time with you, but the whole time they're at the date with you or at the restaurant, they're on their cell phone the entire time. Well, what I'm going to suggest is that if someone wants to spend time with you, if it's not quality time, it's a waste of time. And devotion is just that. Devotion is something that you need to put everything aside and give God your entire attention. Now, the word in the Hebrew is actually found in one place in the Bible where it talks about excessive study. It's found in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 12. Listen what he says. And I'm reading in the clear word. He says, so be careful, my son, about other teachings. There's no end to new books and too much study will worry out your body. The first thing is that we need to have a paradigm shift. When I tell someone I'm studying, they automatically think that I'm actually well, studying for school. They think that I'm actually reading or checking notes, taking down flashcards, highlighting things in my book. But what I do, I read out everything, record it, and then I use it as an auditory um, learning tool. But most people wouldn't consider that learning or studying in essence. So what I'm suggesting that we need to have a paradigm shift on devotion. We need to let God lead the devotion and we listen. A lot of times we're trying to study God the way we study for scholastic or academia. Listen, God is above that. God wants to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you like no other time. God wants to make sure that you understand that the time that you spend with him is quality time. So let God do the leading. You just devote your time to him. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Depression that steals my voice. The confusion that arrests my life. So I can't even make a choice.